All right, uh, so recently I bought a, it'd be helpful if I could actually get it out, I bought a generic, um, I think it's a generic, uh, soldering iron from, um, from China. Uh, so it came in this nice carrying case. This is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Um, it came in a very nice carrying case. I, I did a, uh, unboxing yesterday. I didn't post it, um, on, on here. But, uh, it came in this very nice kit. It's extremely disorganized, so I'm just gonna run through everything that it came with. Just to start out, need a little bit more light. Ah, uh, nope, too much. Um, what that's gonna do. It came with some, uh, wire strippers and, uh, just general purpose cutters. Came with a reversible, um... Well, you know, you know, one of these reversible, got a uh, flat head on this end, Phillips head on this end, and it magnets in place. It's actually a very nice one. Um, it came with a a very horribly made, uh, let's get a better angle on this, it came with a very horrible um, box cutter type thing. It's really cheap feeling. I don't trust it. It came with uh, reusable uh, uh, ends for this right here. Um, came with a solder remover, so basically when you're soldering, um, here, that'll give a better contrast. So basically, you're soldering something. Uh, so you put the soldering iron on. You um, you load that. You load it like that. And basically, this is just a large vacuum. So once the solder's melted with with the soldering iron, and then you press that, and then it sh it sucks the solder up here, and kind of turns it into little balls of hardened solder. That you then just do that in like a a, a trash can or something, and all the the little um, hardened balls of solder come out. Anyways, I'll go over that later. Um, it came with fluxed uh, soldering wire. I didn't think that this soldering, um, that this solder would come with, ooh, let's rephrase it. I didn't think that this solder would have flux in it, um, as, as most generic solder doesn't. Um, so I actually went out and bought some high quality, uh, silver solder for, for things, but this is, this actually does work. So now I have nice silver solder and regular, uh, lead solder. This silver solder did not come with the kit, though. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. Put that off to the side as well. Um, came with a few pair of tweezers. Oops, lost the cap. Came with a few pair of tweezers here, just like these. A bit more light, much better. Uh, yeah, I came with a few pair of tweezers like these. These are very good for seeding chips in things. Um, it came with just some spare, um, wire. I don't know if this is data wire or if it's, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I haven't really gotten too far. And it, I, I, and it came with one of these. I didn't, I don't really need one of these. I have, well, I put it somewhere. I actually had to rip the battery out of that one because I'm kind of short on batteries. But I actually already had a multimeter, but now I have two. Uh, the only thing, I don't trust this for like mains voltage, but the one thing that I do like this one that my other one doesn't have is that it has the beeping continuity, so it does. Well, if it would work, that'd be nice. Just like that, beeping continuity, and also it lights up, um, and that's better for the camera, especially. So that might be useful for that. Put that somewhere. It came with this um, user's manual with all sorts of English in it. Uh, I'm not going to go over this, but this is just really basic stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. This thing. Um, it came with this vinyl tape. Um, yeah, yeah, it came with that, this isn't to that. It came with this vinyl tape, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to say vinyl tape. They just misspelled it. Or it could be vinyl tape, I'm not really sure. Um, it came with two, uh, um, maybe 10 millimeter hex nuts. Uh, I'm not sure what these are two. Again, it's probably in that instruction manual that I should read. It came with the stand for the soldering iron that you just screw together like this, or, or not. Yep, screws together uh, like that, I believe. And then you can obviously compact it and just put it back into the case. Um, so this space, so the soldering iron goes in here. Now let's talk about the soldering iron. With all of that nice stuff, which again, this was only a $20 kit, and I, I looked on Amazon, this in itself is $20. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm very pleased with the amount of value you get out of this. Let's get the actual soldering iron out. Probably don't need to secure it like that, but, uh, so here's the actual soldering iron. I'm uh, gonna zoom out a little bit. Hit the microphone in the process. Probably making horrible noises. Um, 
So this is the actual soldering iron itself. It's basically just a generic one. Um, it's it's very nice. It has, you know, has removable tips, like I said before. It has all of these different ones. I prefer the um, the, the bigger ones just because they um, j just because I'm not too good at soldering and I don't really do too fi too much like fine soldering. Um, it has a little. If the camera would focus, it has a uh, temperature dial right there um, that goes from oh I can't even read that goes from 200 to 450. Um, I find that the stock solder that it comes with it didn't it doesn't say what it melts at, um, but I, I find if you set it at uh, 400, this works fine at 400. And then the solder that I bought. Uh, this from Home Depot, this solder, this silver sol silver based solder melts at, oh, well, it said it somewhere, um, yeah, but I, I know that this melts at 450, it was on the packaging, um, and, uh, yeah, that's the whole thing, oh, and it came with a few various zip ties, and it came with this, which I thought was a thing that you can wipe any, uh, excess solder off on, but it actually ended up burning it. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. <laughs> I should. Pr it's probably in the instructions somewhere, um, and it it uh, coincidentally fits perfectly in this little tray here. And that so the soldering iron goes in this, like that. If I can get it in, um, and the soldering iron goes in there like that. Right. I'm gonna get rid of this for now, and I'm going to plug this in right now letting it go everywhere. I'm going to plug this in right now, and I'm going to let it heat up. All right, now that it is plugged in, um, I don't know if... Oh, right, it's not on. So uh, one of the main advertisements in the advertisement is that it advertised the on and off switch uh, fairly heavily. Um, so yeah, on and off switch, I guess that's kind of helpful. And then there is a... Oh, yeah, no, you're definitely not going to be able to see that. There is a extremely faint red LED. You can kind of see it right there. There's a very faint red LED right there. Um, that 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 is the indicator for this. Um, oh, ow! <laughs> so I'm gonna set it right now to 400, a little bit over 400 for this solder, and I am going to get a, a small circuit board that we can work on and test this on. I'll be right back. All right, so the soldering iron is heated up uh, fully. Um, and I got my solder right here. I usually flow with my left hand, and then I solder with my right hand. Uh, I should mention the the cable is on the right, is on the left, my left. Um, so it's going to be a bit hard to solder. So right here, I just have a a pretty basic. Um, this is just a, a generic uh, Samsung chip. Um, this is a, I think this is a 2.1 gigabytes Samsung chip right here. Uh, so this is what we're going to be soldering, basically. Um, Got to Ow. <laughs> I'm really bad at forgetting that. Uh, this cord is still uh, still kind of um, bending from its packaging, uh, but we're just going to solder this. I don't have one of those little things that helps you. That's a good description. Uh, I'm, I'm, I took this apart so long ago, I forget how it goes together. I think it just goes together like that. Oh, uh, I forgot why I took the spart also. So, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. It's quite a bit of smoke. It's probably my fault. That was quite a shit solder connection. Um, yeah, none, none of those worked. <laughs> it's been so long since I soldered. That's okay. Um. How is that fared? Oh, that has worked. All right, so all these soldering connections are are good. Um, I did use this for about an hour yesterday, just constantly doing and then undoing joints using this pump. Actually, I should oh, I should demonstrate how this how this pump works because this is actually an extremely helpful feature. Um, so, and anyways, I'm gonna I'll do that later. So I was using this for about an hour yesterday, and the the heat regeneration wasn't bad. You know, it it uh, regenerated its heat. Um, fairly easily uh, it, it, it doesn't it didn't have many problems um, with with regenerating the heat it does flow quite well at this at this degree um, that is very smoky um, that's just the that's actually just uh, the flux vapor 
Um, it's not like smoke smoke or anything. Anyways, um, so I'm going to show you how this pump works. So basically what this is, is it's just a... Hmm, wonderful. It is just a... Um, let's put this back here. So this pump is just... That has gone well. So this, this pump is just a spring-loaded plunger, basically. You do that, and then you press that, and then uh, this this thing um, kind of just shoots out. Uh, hold, let's, I'm doing a horrible job to explain this. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. So basically, you, you push it in, you, you melt the solder, you push it in, and then you go in the joint and you do that. And you know, I'm just going to show you. So I'll do this with my left hand. Going to remove. I'm going to liberate the soldering iron from its uh, housing, um, and I'm just going to remove this first joint. So I'm going to to load it just like that, and I'm going to simply and just like that, um, the little pieces of of uh, metal that are inside here, as you can see, a few have fallen down. But that's that's all there really is to this pump, and and um, and. I I don't know how well you can see that, but the uh, this last joint here now doesn't have, now doesn't have any solder on it because of the pump. Uh, so the pump does work quite well. I've never actually used one before uh, in my past soldering kit, which I also had another generic soldering iron before. Um, the, I didn't actually have one of those pumps, and so when I went to desolder stuff, I would just kind of haphazardly pour it everywhere. Um, so yeah, no, that, that, that does work quite well. Uh, this flux it came with, I don't know if there's any impurities or something, but it is quite, uh, quite, uh, smoky. Um, well, again, it's not smoke, I think it's a vapor of some sort, I don't know if it's water vapor, or, um, it's definitely safe to breathe in, um, I think. Uh, anyways, uh, so that's, that's that little experiment. This is actually a cheap USB... I can put the thing back. This uh, little board here is actually to a very cheap, generic USB uh, thingy. USB uh, power stick. Not a USB. I'm really lost for words today. It's just a generic um, memory stick. Uh, this one was actually free on the side of the road. Um, if I can line up the things. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so so that's that's just that's just what that circuit board was. Um, Moving on to the accessories, uh, uh-oh. Alright, so I've proven that the soldering iron works pretty well. Uh, so, moving on to the accessories, um, that it came with. Uh, all of them seem pretty good. The, this, just, this, um, this pump works well. The, the actual solder that it came with did seem to work really well. Um, again, I did buy high-grade silver solder. But the generics, the generic uh, solder that it came with, and it came with a lot. But yeah, the generic solder that it came with seems to work completely fine. The vinyl tape or the vinyl tape um, just seems like generic uh, electrical tape, so I'm sure there won't be a problem with that. This is really horrible. Let, let, let me show you what I mean. Um, so when you're trying to cut something, I don't have anything to cut, but basically, it's very easy to see that this blade is not seated in. So when you go to cut something, it's just extremely horrible. I mean, I know it was free. It's basically free, because you can buy the kit without the accessories for $17. So all of this stuff was was basically no money. But, uh, but yeah, no, this is... This is, even at its uh, shortest deployment, it is really horrible. Um, so I, I'm not really going to use this. Um, moving on... The screwdriver is extremely helpful. I recently, actually I have it, I recently ripped apart a TI-84 graphing calculator, TI-84 Plus to be exact, graphing calculator, um, so I could fix the buttons on it. Uh, I, I'll probably go and do this in another video. And this was very helpful for prying the shell apart and doing all that sorts of nonsense. So, and this this does work very well. The um, the removable uh, things just stays in very nice. Um, that is good. The uh, needle nose plier things, I guess you want to call these. I don't know if they, not pliers. Um, these tweezers work very well. They're extremely sharp. I in fact cut myself twice while unboxing these. Um, so be very careful with these. But they they are very helpful. I know. In the past, I worked on motherboards. Um, for various things. Actually, 
This would be a good example of where you would want to use something like this. So I actually, with my old soldering iron, I actually re-soldered the CPU on this Raspberry Pi. And these are just very helpful for, you know, getting the, uh, actually being able to hold the chip right. Um, anyways, moving on. And I would, I would suggest to keep the little uh, sheath that they have on there uh, with it and on it. Uh, moving on, um, these tips, these all seem fine. Uh, I'm, I usually just use whatever stock one they give you uh, until it dies, so I, I don't really have any comment on what these are going to be like, but they all seem really good, and then they're in this nice bag, clearly meant to be reused. Um, these are just some generic uh, wire wire strippers, wire cutters. Um, they, they seem to just work fine. Um, I, I, I don't have nothing to complain about them. Not too special, not too bad. Um, and then the main, one of the bigger accessories that it does come with is this power meter. Um, it'd be helpful if I turned it on. Uh, so yeah, I already had a one. <clears throat> so yeah, I already had a really good one. This one, I know it, it, it's somewhat generic, but this is actually a, a really, really good and reliable one. I don't really trust this, because this is like, th this is like double the weight of this. This is double the weight of this. Um, and so I don't really think there's a whole lot going on inside here, especially for being something that costs less than a dollar. Um, but I do like the display. So this could be very helpful for reading um, minor things. I'll probably do a comparison video between this cheap generic one and my good one. Um, but like I said before, the only thing I actually find useful is the beeping um, continuity. And it also has more settings for microfarad, which that one over there does not have. Um, yeah, no, this this is just kind of like a generic one. Uh, it does have a stand, which again, I find that this is gonna be very good for the camera, like that. Um, uh, whereas this one over here, th this one did not do very well on camera. Um, anyway, so that's just a uh, first impression of this generic, um, uh, Amazon soldering iron. There's like th these go under a million different names, but overall, it's actually a very, very good uh, value for twenty dollars. Um, and especially the the amount of solder that it comes with. This is quite a lot. For instance, this little thing of Benz of Benaram Benz Burnsomatic solder. Um, yeah, this little thing of burns matic solder was like four bucks or something. But this is also silver solder, whereas this is probably lead-based or zinc-based. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but the solder is a big value. Um, and overall, uh, I do think that the soldering iron is worth less than all the accessories. Um, so if you want to just buy the soldering iron, I think you can just buy the soldering iron for like seven dollars. But it does help with all these accessories, especially the screwdriver. This is the I, I know I'm exaggerating the screwdriver, but it's a very nice uh, screwdriver, and it's very helpful because um, these are really really expensive to buy in a set. Uh, so, anyways, if you've enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Oh, if you've enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. See you next time.